the Roots Banner Gore commence maintenant. This is round one of season four in the top quartiles. We're here with Montpellier who gets their season underway against a team who's already proven they could be a bit of a banana skin. Bonjour everyone and welcome back along to Montpellier career mode where today it all kicks off round one of the top quartiles as we look for that final season of glory. If you haven't met the new team, then go check out the two introduction videos for Season 4 that come out just a day or two ago. See the team that we've built up for this amazing final season with Montpellier. Of course, you will see most of those new players in action here today because we splashed the cash. We slapped the faces of all the superstars who are available and put every dime on the table to get them to come and play here for our Montpellier team. Today, we kick the season off against the side we played in our opening preseason game, the Fizzy Fruit Drinks of Stade Francais, a team that gave us a little bit of a scare as well. It was just a 28-21 victory in that preseason matchup. A game that was 21 all with about 15 minutes to play. Our team though has undergone a little bit of change though from that. Of course, we were trialing all the new players at that point. Today, we've got a good mix of the incumbents, as you will, from last season and these new players coming in. Of course, you see him straight away. Xavier Schiolke is our big number one. Garado will be our starting hooker tonight. And Deba Bumba, of course, will start on the tight head side. Willemson, Alpha Fanula are the mainstays in their second row. And the back row, boy, oh boy, it looks just phenomenal. Placine starting at six. Big man Kulisi at seven. The inspiration at the open side. And of course, CJ Stunder, the powerhouse at number eight. Excitement in the back line of Anton Dupont getting the start with Anthony Bello, who he didn't see through preseason. Now's his chance to really make, make a claim for that number 10 jumper. Take a look at this back line though. My God, it is exciting. Raka on the left wing. Lamape in midfield with Fakatawa. And then Mpimpi has to switch to the right with Kim Raka on the left side. And of course, Maxi Boy Malins gets the nod at, number, at 15. This is about call him at number 8 there. Up against us, I think we've got the man with the best name in world rugby. Killingworth. What a name that is. Unity. We are Unity Killingworth. Now he's just 17. So, um, he's a youngster. Let's put the pressure on him. DuPont should run rings around that fella. But of course, from preseason, we know Sanchez was amazing. Pincus was phenomenal. And they are missing one of the other key men. That is Nasa Levu, who is out on international duty. Of course, Lacanio Arm and Johnny May are world-class as well. The forwards is where we should probably get it over this team. Falatel, really the only big name in this pack. Let's see if we can get the job done, though, against these fizzy fruit drinks in the pink of Star Front say. A look at their bench. Money Banks is there. He started last time we met, but not too much. Powerful names. Etienne at 22. Hello, Emil. Keeping things nice and solid in that front row. For us, though, Mavinga gets a start, a chance for us for a start. And, of course, we've got guys at Underhill, Lopez, Harris, and the amazing Minozzi at 23. Right, we're all good to go, of course. There's the fruit drinks in the pink and blue. Red, the blue, and black, as always. Montpellier on the road to start the season off. Let's see if we can get the job done. Big kickoff here from Sanchez. Placid coast, coast to coast. And almost does the amazing work, but not good enough. It'll be a turnover for Stade Francais nice and early. Great covering defence there from Dupont. And the numbers on the left-hand side are already up there. And it's a big bus play from Handali. Down the left side, a big chase there for Marco Zulam and Pimpi, the king. Can get short now. And Sanchez goes straight to contact. It's a drop it off short and charging hard the line is Chris Farrell. One off. Castets looks to go Release. six or seven short now. Short side, the big man Campos getting involved and finding no way through. Some staunch defense early from Montpellier. Malins jumps on the loose ball. Bit of trouble here as he carried that back. Oh, he has. 
find put down a very good little grabber kick of behind scrum for start and of course killing wave sets it in he's holding it in the back too taking his time players get a position now they use the set piece very nice and it commences right hand side and it is the Kanyal arm who tries to soldier his way through big room on the left side they want it they go through Falatel the big number eight almost a turn over there for Montpellier now the right hand side there's the first try Sanchez gets the early dogs and that's exactly the same start that the fruit drinks had against us in pre-season. They went 7-0 up very early on and we've taken a little bit too long to get ourselves into this game. Good run there from Gabrielis. He got them just within five. And then the switch killing with beautiful pass and offload. And just like that, start Francais lead by five. Well, this is a spot of bother already. It's exactly like pre-season. Here is Sanchez to convert his own try. And it is a good one as well from the Argentinian. We've seen how good he was in pre-season as well. And a team like this, we know that they are going to fight to the end. They just got so close to beating us in pre-season as well. Now we've got to be on our game. Bello kicks off. We've hardly touched the ball, which is a real concern. And this is just about a great take there from Alvarez Raka. Stall, the ball is here for Stade Francais, and they shift it so well up into that midfield. The numbers are there, Sanchez again, keeping the line from the Cunyal arm, and eventually the ground, Mustaloy takes it, just on their own side of the half. And the tight now, great tackle, oh Campos who's gone down, broken ankle, get him out of here, get the gurney out, get the ambulance out of the field, take him away, we'll see you next season. Oh, I did not see ball, that Jake Ball, the Welshman? Hmm. I seem to recall Jake Ball's got a massive bed. Maybe it's not, but we'll Crouch. go with that anyway. Ball is off. Fine. Campos is off. Set. And killing where after fruit drink. Puts it in. Second scrum of the night for Stard and now. Again, they sit away to the right hand side, slightly on the open. That's a great chase. Oh, DuPont put on a hammering hit there. And eventually, um, it is again who kicks it away. Mapipi fighting with Maylitz. Oh, look out. Mapipi's really dancing here. What a little run there. In trouble, Marco Zola makes things happen. Here is DuPont, though. Puts it on the boots and looks for touch. Big Breeze carries it over the line. And now Don DuPont showing just why he is one of the best in the world. And that number nine jumper, great touch finding kick. And it takes their pressure instantly. Off Montpellier. Here's Latu. Tolu Latu throwing to the back. And Masilu is the one who grabs it in for start. And Advantage. Again, around and trying to bust through. That's a mistake. Dupont grabs it on the second attempt. And now there's a chance to run. And Venom out the back door. Almost there for Montpellier. Getting a little bit expensive. Maybe a little bit desperate with the ball in hand. But we'll see the replay here. Good line out move. That was a forward pass to start off with. We'll let that one slide because rumbling on through there was killing Ruth. He's knocked it on. And then straight away. There's the back of the hand. Crouch. From Phillips. Find. Didn't get to see who it went to. Set. Now, scrum. Stunder in the back. Look at him. The red. Bent. Oh, and a big shot from Stud Francais. And killing Ruth has the ball. Now they switched out to the right hand side, trying to break through. Look, cut your arm. Everything goes through him, it seems. Larkin takes him down. Now they go back over the side. That's two good tackles there. Oh, Sanchez, the Khaleesi turns it over. Namapi gets him in the ball. That Denver bumper. The back line link up. Oh, the Pimpi. Couldn't handle the heat from Denver bumper. And the first scoring opportunity for Montpellier. Well, it's gone. Oh, Denver Bamba loves to run free and he always gets that pass off as well. Crouch. Bind. Takes on that last defender. Set. Half an hour gone. It is just seven points to nil. Star Francais leading from Pellier. A team with hopes and aspirations of championships. Powerful run through the middle. Massively. Oh, Deba Bamba! Says they have another go, boys! Bello out to Naka! Alvarez Hilaka! Away to the corner he goes! And it is the first!
first try of the season for Montpellier. And it's the new man on the left side, Alvarez Ilaka, who scorches down the sideline and grabs the first try for the visiting team. Double pressure there on the breakdown. Timber bumper up and out the ball before they even knew there was a ruck formed. And how quickly they shifted out to the finish up. Navaretilaka, he knows his way to the line. Anthony Bello hasn't had much to do tonight, but we see these other teams are improving just as much. And we could have a chance now to go to the break with a seven all scoreline. Just five and a half to play here before the break. And the question does remain. Can we fight our way into the lead? Just before halftime, we've still got time to do something special. Let's see what the fruit drinks have got in store. I envision a little short one. They want to probably do something here as well. Nope, my envisioning is pretty poor. It's gone deep to the port. And I'll put the pressure on. It's an easy turnover as well. And now Johnny May looks to spark and fell it out. What a pass. And it's a big man on top for Vanilla. What a play. Castan scores. And it is Star Francais who take the lead going into the break. Oh, what a special try from the big loose head prop. Dupont got defender and ball at the same time. The chase come through very quickly, but it was this run from Fanatel. Took out all comers and Dalfa Fanua tried desperately to nudge him over the sideline. But it's a great try from Castet, the loose head prop. Well, we're in a spot of bother here, team. I'll be honest. Um, not really what I had in mind for our first game of the season. I knew that the star team were going to be tough. We saw the preseason, Clermont were a walkover. They were average at best. But start, well, they pushed us right to the bitter end. And it's going to be interesting to see who the other performers are this season, who the other teams are that are going to push us throughout the year. Let's get it back underway. Anthony Bello, of course, we do have plenty of ability on the bench. Watson Albert's taken there perfectly. Oh, what a pass. Oh, no. Oh, it's gone into touch, and it would have been easier. Just to have taken the tackle. Max Malins and Marcus Olamapimpi speaking on the sideline. And they're wondering what's going wrong as well. It is 14 points to 7. Star Francais leading Montpellier. Take a look at not the top line of the score, but the top line of possession and territory. 82% and 74%. Going to the home side, they are dominating this game. And we've just had no real chance to make something come from it. Our just 18% of the ball is never going to be enough. Line breaks are all the way of start as well. And they are easily the better team so far. Let's get back for the second 40 minutes of action. We have a lot of work to do. Okay, seven points behind. A lot of work to be done here from Montpellier. We've got the substitutes as well. I'm thinking guys like Lopez. Um, who else is on there? Minozzi especially could make an impact in this game. We could shift around guys like Maxi Blue Malins. Get in there, lads. Help out of the breakdown, guys. Kickoffs are so bad. Don't know why we ever go short. This is a turnover. Release. Oh, come on, ref. Come on. You blind bat piece of crap. That was a turnover. Get on, Saikarado. No, oh, this is not a good start by us. We've been pouring the breakdown. Of course, we could change that as well. Bellows having to come in a long way to cover the line. There's room on the outside. They want to use it here, start. They eventually go to ground through Pinkus, who we've not hardly seen tonight after a standout in the preseason game. A little kick over the top from Sanchez. It's picked up from Maxi Malins. Uh oh, that's poor. That's been lost. It's turned over to start front as well. One phase is all we get the ball. Malins with a great tackle. How have we not turn that over? Grotto was on there like a flash. Now it's Massiloy again. The open side flanker held up there. Nicely, Ben May getting involved as well. Looking short, now going wide. And the numbers are there on the left side as well. Pankers to the corner. Now Marpey giving chase. Now Marpey the turnover. Mpimpi gets the ball. Bello, we want to run here. And Vakatawa will run. Now, there's pace and there needs to be a chase. Mpimpi leads it as well. Vakatawa chasing down on Johnny May. What a tackle. Up over the ball. Surely a chance. No turnover, says the ref. They'll 
into play. Muscle Boys. again, another strong carry. Montpellier lifting their performance, looking, and May sets them through a hole again. Release. Valatau holds it up. Masaloi, good little pass on the outside channel. And now Johnny May, he is everywhere tonight. Not releasing. Crazy penalty. Oh, that is huge. Inspirational leader of this team. Sai Khaleesi. Gives us a chance to get that difference maker of the three-pointer. And I think we might need to make some changes too after this. Oh, I don't know where I want to put it. There's a slight breeze. Right, let's get this done, lads. We'll make some changes as they kick off. There's the ball beautifully from Bello. And the extra three now on the board. Oh, we've got a game on our hands. It is 14-10. 20, 20 to play, 23 to play. Let's make some changes. Let's get to it. Who do we want to bring on? Let's bring on Mavinga. I think he can add something. We need to get the new man a chance. Um, who else? No, Underhill. Yes. Now, who's been average? Placines. Or do we move players around? Go to number eight. Stunders hardly touched the ball. Let's get Underhill on for Placines. Oh, that's going to be dangerous. We also want to bring on Minossi. I think Malins has done much of the back. Minossi can come on and we'll bring on Lopez to boost up that number 10 jumper just slightly. We could have brought Maylands on somewhere else. Man, Hovakatawa, Lamape are just amazing. Let's make those changes. Let's get the win. This is a tough start. Here we go, Mbimpi's a chance now. He's only got a big chase coming up from Khaleesi. He'll chip over the top and look to regather. Oh, Bello! Bello looking to go himself. Oh, the offload was poor. The offload was so poor. Gerardo turns it over. Shioki, Filipsa, big numbers out wide. Alvaro and Iraka. The China Montpellier. Wow. What a performance. 1 to 15. Everyone involved. Quick work at the breakdown. Anthony Bello. What a run from him. Maybe he should have hung on to it. Valentino got the ball. He also got three Montpellier defenders at the same time. And look at his shift. There was no hesitation. The options, the plans were clear. Get the ball to this man, Alvaro Tiraka. And he finished to the plum on the left-hand corner. Well, it's the final act for a lot of these players who now hand the reins off to the reserves who just have to hold on to the lead. They've done the hard work. We've fought back. And now we lead by three. Bello signs off with easily his most important part of the game so far. That break was outstanding. Underhill comes on looking to add a little bit more pace and impact to that breakdown. And Minossi, well, the counter-attack ability of the Italian is surely to be up there for us as well. Big chance for us to open our account with a strong comeback win. Dalton Manua goes to the deeper second line of Gerardo. Now Deba Bumba, good chase there. We just can't quite get those kickoffs right. But that time we do. It's fired away to Alvareti Raka. Oh, not the best kick there from Raka. But he was crossing the 22. Squirts it out towards halfway. Good punt on him. But uh, a little bit wayward, uh, if we'll call it anything. Uh, but uh, decent from the winger. Torunatu throws. Oh, stolen! Dalton Vanilla, great tackle though on him. Driven to the turf. Now Dupont loves a little bit of a run. Underhill in the game for an impact. Here's Vakatawa! Halfway through there. Keeping it tight, keeping it short. Grano on the angle. Now he's looking to his right. He's got Lopez there. Lopez gets the bonus on. And Lopez runs away from the ball in the corner. And he gets the try. About a millimeter away from the paints. Slight hesitation. I thought he'd gone too far. Not known for his out now pace. Lopez goes and backs himself. Acceleration to get away from a forward. But you saw Lopez's line on the outside there. And that support play against the runner, Gerardo, was outstanding. And that is 
<laughs> it's technically out. We'll run look at another replay. But how about that line? Gerardo running from the outside in on the angle. And that slides the fruit drinks in half and left us clear and home with the support line of this man. What a way to announce yourself in the competition. With a try like that, Lopez nails another conversion. Well, not as far as isn't it? No, Bello, he's off. Lopez takes over. And that, again, is a great way to put yourself on the scene. 24 14. Wow, what a half from Montpellier. We were sinking, we were falling, we were training by seven, and looked like it might be done for us Release. tonight. But we've come aware of this very well so far, Lopez. Look at that. Look how accurate his kicking is. Gets it away. Fakatawa leads the chase. Oh, it's there to bounce. That gives Fakatawa time. He missed the Advantage. tackle. Oh, knocked on. Oh, pink is down the land. Real chance from to do something. And a man who was so good just a couple of games ago has been nothing short of dreadful tonight. Got away from Fakatawa, which was really Crouch. well done. Actually Find. bumped off that second chasing tackle as well. Set. It was all on there. For Stade Francais. Right, let's get something special running on here, lads. I like to get a little bit of La Mape involved, and he does get involved, and he pulls his through three defenders. Nagani La Mape does what he does best. Garado. Oh, he's been outstanding tonight. Phillips. Enzo holds on to the pill. Just about lose it. But there goes time. Now I think we've done enough to win it. Let's go for one more. Out the back. Advantage. Oh, the finger first touch knocks it on. What a shame. Now if they kick this, it reports back there as well. There's Johnny May. Again, another man who scored tries for fun against us last time in preseason. There's been incredible. Advantage over. Advantage is over. That's kind of nice. We can actually turn this over now and make them. Uh oh. Garado's in us chase a Denver bomber as well. If they get on the inside, they're coming over the try. Look at this from Star Francais. Kenningworth involved once more. He's been amazing. Leaving it to the big boys to do the job now. As they swing out the pimpy to the left wing on defense, gets it on Chris Farrell nicely. It is all start front saying now. We should have kicked it out. There's a wide ball. Lopez works it on the fence. It's Tom Pinkus looks inside. Great defense, Minolzi. No one back there for Montpellier. We've got to work it out. Kidding where that's being dumped. We got no one in that ruck at all. Deborah Bumba joined it about half an hour late. This can stand to see try scoring prop. A great try it was as well. The ball spread it back inside again. We're far too slow on the breakdown. Stunder looking to get involved as Tolulatu has a pick and go. Killing right goes short side. Great second wave tackle there, taking a big hit there on board. I think they do have a man standing out on this left wing. Then get it to him, we are in a spot of bother, but they're really struggling with it. Fellatel, where's it go now? No one getting involved in these rucks. Killing right again has another carry in midfield. It's like he's moved his positioning out wide. Pick and go this time. Davis. Starts it off, fell it out, finishes the run, into it, Release. up the hill, trying to turn it over. Ball, that's a great pass. Now they're behind Sanchez. Through the middle they go, and that's a great run from Fellatel. How many defenders was that? Ridiculous power from the big Welsh number eight. To the short side, great off though. Now they're behind us. Great pass to me. Does it again, and it's the same guy. It's the same guy, Castets. Oh, he's incredible! The low set prop has scored two tries down the narrow right hand edge. And from a position where I wanted our fourth try, we have conceded our third. What a play here. Johnny May did so well to stay in the field of play and a great tackle at the end. But the car while putting body on the line. But the big prop not even going upstairs from that grounding and looked pretty average to me. But they'll let it slide in a, well, a seven point win in preseason has ended up being only a possible three point win here. Sanchez, great kick. 24, 21. And the one penalty from Sia Khaleesi has seen Montpellier good enough to get the victory on opening day. A tough battle, we knew it would be tough.
But this is a team with plenty of determination, plenty of expectation, and plenty now in round one of deliverance to go with it. Disappointment there for Lekunyuan. Plenty of stars in the scene, the likes of Arm, May, Farrell, Pinker, Sanchez. Their whole backline is pretty stacked, and they perform nicely as well. It was a double for two men on very, very different positions of the field. Castets, the loose head prop, grabbing a double. Sanchez, the fly half, just the one. We did the same, except we swapped the one for 11. Alvarez Raka grabbing a double. And it was our reserve fly half, Lopez, who grabbed the single try. We got a little mix match there with substitutions. Bello and Lopez combining for four successful kicks. Two to Bello of convergence and the penalty goal. And Sanchez, flawless off the tee, but the difference being, we got that penalty goal. Good old Khaleesi, eh? He's paid himself off already with that victory. We were starved of the ball. Starved front say played a great game. When the fruit drinks, they are going to be right there this season, I think. They're going to be one of the teams to beat. And we've got them out of the way nice and early. They keep the ball. They don't make errors. And they score good tries. And they keep the ball alive. They are the combination of a very, very good side. Look out for them as the season draws on. So typically as the season gets underway, we see international duty Rears that's, well, for a club team, very ugly head. But the good thing about this team is we have some incredible depth. So we do lose a king captain, Michael Zolima. Pippi on the right wing, but of course, you know what we've got in reserves here. Teddy Thomas is down there as well. Tommaso Allen is just too good to be sitting on the bench, but you just don't need two fly halves there as well. No injuries today, which actually was very, very good. Forgot to mention we were fully fit for today's matchup. Our team really looks nice, though. We'll take our captain off, and do we just give it to Mr. Inspiration, Cy Khaleesi, uh, at open side? We'll see what you guys reckon in the comments, but for now, we'll just give it to him. Don't see much point in changing anyone else in the side. The winning team, Moles just keep it as it is. Bello to start, was he good enough? Do we start Lopez? Do we give uh, Alan a chance? I'm curious what you guys think was the standout 10 in these opening few matches. The backs, though. Raka, so good. Laomape, quiet, but we didn't really need him to be outstanding. Vakatawa did bits as well. But that man, Alvareti Raka, when he got chances, he knew how to put them away. The rest of the team, though, will bring in Teddy Thomas. No problems. Maxi Malins, quiet night at the back. But defensively, very, very good. So we beat these boys pretty convincingly in preseason as well. I thought Clermont were going to be the tough team. But no, it was Stade Francais, and they proved it. Now, for the second time. Next up, of course, we'll have a look at the table in a second. But we beat them 24-0. What has happened to Clermont? I'm not sure. We got Lyon after that. And then Toulouse round out the first real full month of action. There's a big gap there. I'm not sure what's going on there. Half a month between the 16th of September and the 1st of October. But who really cares about that? Let's have a look at the standings. Because we'll see who the good teams are this season. And... See if they've actually got any good players. Now, Toulon are 2-2, two and two, and they've lost... They, well, they've lost to two props. Fully pull of Fafita. And Florian Frisia is our out. Um, injured in red card. Takalua is at 9. Payao is still there at 10. McCloskey's on the wing. Nothing. Oh, Chess and Colby, of course. Phenomenal. But nothing outstanding. Nakarawa not even starting. Lopini Tamani, neither. Well, <clears throat> interesting. They're missing Issa and Itzabeth. Through internationals as well. Rugby Championship is a pain in the ass. And Hayden Parker's at the bottom. Cast. Oh, man. Remember when casts were good back in the first couple of seasons? They've still got Anton Goodman there at Lucy, which is very interesting. Um, anyone stand out? Well, they've signed up this guy, Paul Jordan. They got him in his side center. Kyle Stain on the right wing. But T2's still there as well. And James O'Connor. Oh, look out. The Australian at fullback. Uh, that is interesting. They've got a decent side in Tyson Maloney. He'll be dangerous as well when they get him back. Okay, right. That's a little bit of a quick look at some of the top teams. They are La Rochelle as well. They're 2-2. Two and two. So we'll have a look at their team just quickly. Carbato's still there. Uh, Levenberg is stacking things up in the back row. Aldrich's still there as well. Uh, Sione Tupo seems to be a new name there. Wilco Lowe. Yes, the South African. Well, that's very good for them. Jules Persona 10. Oh, the guy we were going to go after. 
Uh, Nathan Arrow was there last season. Dante was there as well. Bodden out killed us last time. Sinzelli. Yes, he did as well. And Bryce Doolin. So they're very similar, but they look like they might actually be performing. They've lost Whiteley and Wood to international duty. Michael Wood, second rower. And Remy Bud uh, Budo. Yeah, he's out uh, for 87 days. And look, Dan Norton, he's still out. He's been out for about three years. Uh, but he's not that great, is he? That's a little quick look, though. Not what I intended to do there. But the table early on, we see two bonus point wins for Toulon. Uh, we're at Claremont there. One win by three points. Same as us. We got a bonus point. And we only scored three tries. Uh, the game's broken. Who cares? Next episode, yes, Claremont is in town. No, we are away, actually. Clermont is at home, and we are going to be in town to take them out. Second time this season we've met already. Once in preseason, we smashed them 24-0. Let's do that again. The team will stay pretty much the same for our next match. Until then, no, thanks for watching, as always, and I'll see you all for round two. Until then, take care.